May my words be a blessing for the memory of Kavod HaRav Mordechai Eliyahu Zefet Tzadik L'Kodesh Livracha. I remember the first time I met the Rav. It was in a very dark and a very dangerous place, the worst prison in the United States, Marion Penitentiary. And its reputation was well deserved. So you could imagine how I felt three stories underground, never seeing the sun, never breathing fresh air, never really seeing anybody else except the guards that would come by, when suddenly Kavod Harav walked in to a very small visiting room and I looked up and there was the Rishon Litzion, which was absolute, it was an amazing experience for me because it was at that moment I could actually see freedom. That's what, he repre- that's what his visit, visit represented. Because I said to myself, if the Shaliach of Hashem, such a man, such a great man, can visit me in Gehenna, then he'll, he'll be, Hashem will be taking me out. Because no Shaliach like that is just going to leave someone like me in Gehenna. So for the first time, in many years, I could actually see freedom, I could taste freedom, I could experience it. And that's what his visit meant to me, freedom. What a lot of people don't appreciate is that the Rav had an incredible sense of humor. And when he left, he turned around to me and he said, don't worry, like Yosef HaTzadik, You'll, you'll get out of the bore. And I said, no, Kavodarav, I don't want to leave uh, the bore like Yosef and go home to Eretz HaKodesh in a, in a, in a casket. Uh, I would rather just go home walking. So he laughed. And it was a, a measure of his greatness that he could actually, even in Gehenna, see, see the humor in that and laugh with me. When he would visit me, I remember the first time he visited me in my next prison, which had a lot of Muslim prisoners in in there. Uh, He came in his full robes of the Rishon Etzion, and it created quite a stir in the prison amongst the, the Muslim prisoners. Very few of them or anybody else in that prison had ever met a Jew. I was the first Jew that many of them had ever seen in their lives. And the word suddenly spread in the prison that a grand mufti had come to see me because that's what he looked like to them. So after the, after Kavod Arav left, the imam of the prison called me in. He had just arrived himself. And he said, did you get a visit by a grand mufti today? And I said, well, he was a grand rabbi. I don't know if he was a mufti. So I explained who Kavod Harav was to him. And he said, well, don't explain the difference. Just let the Muslim prisoners believe that a grand mufti came to visit you because uh, they'll leave you alone. And so here again, here again, the Rav's very presence conferred protection on me for 20 years. This misunderstanding was never corrected. And as each successive Muslim prisoner came in, They always came to see me to find out how it was that a grand mufti came to see this Jew. So I bless the Rav each and every time that happened because it was as if he was putting his arm around me, as if he were having the Shekhinah 
put, put its presence around me and protect me the whole time that I was in that institution.